Crowd favorite, Sandra Moon, the challenger, making her way. That's right, folks, you heard it. The first ever intergender championship match. Which, right. which makes Sandra Moon the first woman to challenge for the fighting championship. I, of course, held this title yes, for you quite did. a while. I, I, believe, I believe we've heard that once or twice tonight. Well, we were talking about the heavyweight, the heavyweight. championship well, that's I had. True. I also, I, I'm the first Grand uh, Slam champion in Big Valley Wrestling, of course. All right. So who's you, who'd you win the tag belts with? I uh, won it with Eli Quick as part of Hammerlock TV. That was before my time. I didn't realize that. Uh, it's before he started exposing his brains and uh, started traveling in the future or gotcha. stuff like that. All right, the BBW fighting champ now will be making his way down Papa Yase. And, and really a, re with, a renaissance for Papa Yase. Yes, and being accompanied by BBW manager of the year, Primo Pulpo. I mean, the only guy who's really beat, actually he didn't even, he lost in a triple threat. What am I talking about? I've never seen uh, anybody beat Papa Yase since he's 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 adopted this new uh, new feelings, let himself out, uh, a shrewd the you know strong style champion sort of thing, and and really let himself be himself. And I think that's what he is, a deviant, a guy who who will just who terrorizes people in the ring, and and lets them know who's daddy. Primo, Primo Pulpo looking good. Papa Yase now heading to the back of the crowd. I think he's going back to his family back there. Oh, and, and giving a smooch to the wife. The, I mean, the guy is unstoppable. And pardon the pun, I know that's the name of the show today, but really, if anybody represents that, it's Papa Yase. Guy puts everyone away from it uh, with his finisher, the chastity. Guy put, get this, current AEW star, former WWE star, Colt Cabana with the chastity. Wow. I pinned him right in the middle of the ring. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. That's quite a notch on his belt. I mean, everybody's gone down to the chastity. Everybody's bowed before Papa Yase. All right, now Sandra and, and Primo Pulpo now getting into a verbal discussion. Referee Ben trying to maintain some decorum. Somebody, somebody was not happy that Primo took his mask down. They say it looked better with it on. I think he issued as a comment about uh, his breath. I saw... Uh, ah teeth brushing motion gotcha don't worry that's why they pay me the big bucks all right it, you know when uh uh ben espinoza called me he said i want you to figure out if somebody has bad breath that's my role here he asked you to do that yeah and how would you test that how would you get that close did. i just showed you from this my distance. ability i just showed you my ability God, did god speed smart. help you I, I, listen i don't listen to that man okay watch this Yes, sir. That's not my job. That's a very spiky belt. All right, bell is rung. So let's talk about Sandra Moon. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's first uh, talk about Yase, number three in uh, the Las Vegas Power Rankings. Who's number one? Sandra Moon. Woman has has really shown everybody what she's about. I mean, you know, don't get surprised by the happy-go-lucky attitude. Woman could work. Um, I mean, and the relationship between Yase. Oh, what a huge, I'm sorry, that forearm by, speaking of which, that forearm by Sandra was huge. 
I didn't mean to cut you off there, but boy. Well, I mean, Lazarus is really the one who taught her those forearms, and I've never seen better forearms than Lazarus. I, you know, Sandra Moon, him, her and Yase go back years. I mean, it's a mentor-mentee relationship. They know each other. I mean, they've spent time with each other. They, uh, you know, Sandra Moon's family kind of integrated Papa Yase into their family as Papa Yase can't get a hold of Sandra Moon. But I think Sandra Moon has kind of eclipsed Papa Yase in certain ways. Oh, boy, they both tumble out of the ring as they were trying to get position there. But, you know, one no, thing... I don't know what's going on. I just see feet. And, oh, I see Sandra now just wailing away on Papa on the outside there. Kick to the back, into the sends him into the corner of the ring there, face first to the apron. And I see some emotion on Sandra Moon's face. I see bitterness. I, I think she's frustrated that she's lost her friend, lost her mentor. Oh, they're clearing out the first row. Oh, another one. Papa Yase must have been watching uh, Frank the Tank before. Now, oh, so is Sandra Moon. Oh, my goodness. Sandra Moon takes out both Primo and Papa Yase. But Sandra can't win with them on the outside. Sandra has to get Papa Yase back in the ring, as she does right there. I think Yase has taken a, a Sandra Moon a little bit for granted. I think, you know, in his mind, Sandra Moon is still that young girl who's trying to train and make it. Moon has made it. And I think Papa Yase is not giving her the respect she deserves. Sandra now from behind on the rope. Clubbing blows down to Papa Yase. Right on the forehead. Oh, stops right before 10. Oh, Pop, she stopped and Papa grabs her from the top and throws her down. Oh. Notice Primo Popo giving, instru oh. giving oh. instructions to Splash. Yase. Splash. Primo Popo used to manage Adriel. And Adriel, of course, uh, intimately related to uh, Sandra Moon. Yes. I think uh, Primo Popo knows everything that Sandra Moon has to offer. Sandra Moon with a couple of back elbows to get out of that leg lock that Papa Yase had on her. I, I wouldn't be it looks like, oh! looks like Sandra's busted open a little bit. Bleeding from the mouth. Must have been on that body splash. I, but now Sandra's up now on a, got a sleeper on Papa, right in the middle of the ring. And like I said, I, I, I think Yase is just not giving Sandra Moon the, the respect she deserves. It looks I, like Yase is kind of stumbling just a little bit. Can't, nope, into the corner and Sandra releases the hold. And that does so much for your cardio. You just feel tired afterwards. You can't catch your breath. Back elbow though on a charging Papa Yase. Papa Yase collecting himself. Oh. oh, wait, Primo's got the cane and shook to his leg. Oh, boy. Allowed Papa to gather himself. Really served as a distraction more than anything else. A huge Brutal clothesline. clothesline. And can't do, I mean, that can't help. That was right on her mouth. That can't help her open wound. Papa Yase now could easily have gone for a cover, but didn't. Showing the fans. Oh, wait a minute. Takes the blood and wipes on his chest. Oh, just an elbow to the head. And just. It Looks like he's working the face there. I can't tell if it's on the cut or not. I'm sure it is. Yase is a smart competitor. Oh. Primo just threw in what? Oh, oh, just trying to choke her out. Referee giving them a lot of leeway. Maybe she, he, he doesn't see it. Oh, showing the blood. But in the meantime, Sandra, back elbows and slaps, gets Yase off of her. Kick to the midsection by Papa. Sends Sandra into the far ropes. Sunset flip attempt, but. Yase. Nobody oh, home. Took a little bit too much time. Clubbing blow to the back of the head by Sandra. Yase is not the only one who knows her. Oh, neck breaker. Russian legs, uh, leg sweep. Going for that. Oh, trying to get that arm extended. She needs to get, she's got it extended. Submission lying, hold right in the middle of the ring there. A lying octopus really has got to get to the ropes. 
And what this does, it prevents you from really getting that arm, uh, you know, free. You have to worry about your neck. I can't see. I, I don't know. Oh, it looks like he's rolling over, using his strength to his advantage. Just, I think he's trying to pick her up. And does successfully fireman's carry position. And Sandra Moon's in trouble. Oh, roll out. My goodness. That even hurt Primo on the outside. A little smile. <laughs> Sadistic senton. Look at the look on Papa's face. And this is really where Papa thrives. He's going to another place mentally right now. He loves when his, his opponent plays hard to get. Primo giving Sandra Moon what for. Referee Ben, though, checking on Sanja. Sanja's holding on to that rope. Papa's trying to yank her in by the leg. But you notice how ineffectual the referee is. Papa just ignores him. Oh, wow. Sanja draped over the second rope. Papa with a couple of clubbing blows. I really think Papa Yase is, is particularly more vicious this match. Well, he doesn't want to lose to a, to a female wrestler, I bet. I think she's bleeding from the nose now. Ah, picks it. I think he's learned his lesson. I think he's giving Sandra Moon the respect she deserves, not letting her get anything. Sandra's feeling the effects of that. Uh, oh, the, but the latest attack. Yase getting into it with the fans. I don't think this is the right move. Uh, it's giving Sandra an opportunity to collect herself a little longer, but Papa Yase now back on the offense, ties her up in the front with her arms. Oh, that's chastity. There you go. That's chastity. Oh, gets out of it. Pulls him over. Pin, what are you doing, referee? What? I guess uh, Primo confused the referee. Uh-oh, what uh -oh. do we have? Pump handle coming Pump up? Pump handle position. <laughs> Inverted fall away slam! I, I don't know what the referee was thinking back there. That was a three count, I think. Certainly was. Sandra Mood should be the fighting champion. Oh, but I'm sorry. This is not pinfall. It is stoppage. It is submission or it's knockout. That's why the referee didn't ah. count. All but right. that was a visual three, uh, three count from uh, Sandra Moon. Gets him on the top rope. And, and you know, Papa Yase is really suited for these types of matches. His chastity has so much knockout power. It's not built for pins. It's built for knocking somebody out. But they are fighting off the top rope. Yes, they are. Fighting on no man's land. Sandra Moon slides out the back door. Is she really going to try this? Yes. And that's got to be knocked out. He might be knocked out. He might be knocked out. Referee Ben checking on Papa Yase. He is moving. He's not knocked out. Sandra now trying to get the energy back and, the crowd behind her to get I, moving again. I wonder if the referee is considering stopping for blood loss doesn't have any power behind that. Back elbow. Oh, catches. Oh, that one did. There's oh, another one. Brutal. Uh oh, really? No. Trying to get him up. But Yase only gets up when he wants to. Clubbing Beats blows. Him down. Under. Oh! That's it. That's got to be it. But Sandra Moon knows that's not enough. Goes for it. Oh, runs into the shoulder. Neckbreaker. And Yase gets much needed breathing room. Oh, Yase forgot, Yase forgot. But he's got that knockout power and he knows what he has to do. Submission hold oh. here. Million dollar dream on the uh, on the ground. Maybe wants to wants to show that he is technical. 
doesn't need the chastity. Well, he's got it locked in tight, kind of ragdolling Sandra, but she's she's saying no. She's getting back up to that vertical base. But the problem with this is he can easily go into chastity from here. Sandra Booth desperately needs to get out. Trying Bret Hart. Oh! Gets that slice bread off. Head of steam. Oh, Blue Thunder Bomb! Holy cow! Blue Thunder Bomb! Sandra Moon on top! Gets control of the match from Yase. Tries to get the crowd in! Sandra Moon going up to the top. Primo now up on the apron. Oh, Primo trying to get it down. Serving as a distraction. Can Yase get up in time? Shaking the nut. Oh, get Short. it! Short. Sharpshooter, sharpshooter! Going for the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter! Right in the middle of the ring. I can't see if she's close to the bottom rope or not. Exerting his dominance and submission is a valid end to this match. The pain has to be coursing through her body. Primo now trying to pull a rope away from Sandra so she can't reach it. Primo earning that check. Ben Hall can only just plead with him. But she's got it. She reached. She managed to get it and break the hold. Papa now starting to wonder what he's got to do to win this. Oh, but he's got that smile on his face. He knows that's not it. I mean, that took so much out of Sandra. And, and you know, at any point, the referee can stop this match and he might stop it. Oh, no! I think we know what he's going for. The move that knocked out Colt Cabana. Exerting his dominance. Rolls through, kick! Right to the shoulder that's been injured throughout the match. Gets him up, single, single arm. Uh, Nelson trying to get, oh, Primo getting involved. Catches. Reverse he, Russian leg sweep. He got one for his troubles. Now Papa Yase seeing what Primo, that Primo's down, wondering what happened. And Primo's added so much to this match. Papa uh, Yase going for the neck breaker. Reversal. That might be it. Right on his head. Referee checking. Trying to get more shots in. Getting that referee stoppage. Referee has to figure out if uh, Yase is able to defend himself. She's begging, begging for him to get up. Oh, is he trying to deadlift him? Got wrench uh, position. Number one ranked wrestler in Las Vegas in trouble right now. Papa reverses it though, has her set up. Suplex! And sometimes when you're desperate, you go back to the basics. You go back to day one of training, gets that suplex off. That's not gonna knock her out, but it's gonna take the breath out. Oh no, headbutt! Referee's gotta check, referee's gotta check. Sandra's still moving, she's not out, she's staying in this. Surprising Papa Yase now, his frustration oh, I has got to be over the up. top. She said, this will definitely knock her out. Oh! Referee's got to stop it. Checking her, checking for a squeeze, checking for a squeeze. Oh! oh! Showing some life! That's chastity! How is she, how is she still up? How is she still up? Nobody, I mean, God damn, nobody's got out chastity! Oh! That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Another Stop one. Stop the match! Stop the match, come on! He called, there you go, right, there you Referee have it. Referee stoppage. Referee did what you asked mercifully. Sandra Moon showing like she's number one. I mean, nobody has survived the chastity, and even for a second, showing life after being hit by the chastity. And you can see the fear of God in Jace. I mean, Yase. I mean, he just showed who he truly is. I, Yase has seen a ghost. 
because he thought Sandra Moon was dead, but she showed life. Nobody has, I mean, luckily nobody has kicked out of the chastity still, but Sandra Moon showing Yase might be mortal. Sandra Moon, the heart of a lion in this match. Primo's got himself up off the rack. Papa Yase retains, referee Ben checking on Sandra, and with that, we're gonna let these guys dispense as we get ready for our next match.